Hi guys, Carbertos with the studio. Today we are in DaVinci Resolve with the false color 3.9 from Time Pixels. I love this plugin. I just I just love this plugin. Basically, it gives you the false color for for whatever whatever footage you are working in. in is really nice and quite a bit precise. Okay, what's this about? Um, I ran into some problem. What was basically I don't know user fault, maybe plugin fault, maybe you know something something else. I don't, I don't know really. However, um, serial node, GPU accelerated. I'm sticking near. I'm going to the remote false color sticking a connect leaving this on top everything works quite great it's, it looks kind of choppy um i don't know actually if you can see that or not um however the, this choppiness actually is coming from basically that i'm recording my screen right now so computer kind of or actually gpu kind of you know getting a little bit you know overload let we say so basically i had i had this you know i was doing this kind of way that way and um and this timeline is is 4k and i will start working on the uh, on denoising and all you know and i was like okay so how i can speed this up so maybe i can just change the timeline resolution and go to 1080, you know, and I went to 1080. In some reason, it time on basically that's that didn't want to work, and and it's kind of you know s stopped working, and I couldn't get this to work somehow. And I was applying this on a clip. I was applying this on a on a timeline. And this way or that way, that stuff just didn't want to let me to, you know, kind of work this around or anything. All was kind of basically funky stuff going on like in here. So there you go. We're in here. Everything now is, is working correctly. Everything is, you know, there is no problem whatsoever. Um quite quite happy with that obviously that is this is working as as it should and what was the problem actually happening with that it was actually me going to change settings in e and DaVinci Resolve I don't know if it was DaVinci Resolve really or it was the um, time pixels or something but anyway it just basically didn't want to work so I kind of worked this around it in a kind of way that like you see the funky stuff right now it's just you know the timeline is stop and, and f funky stuff just gonna happen just like footage from actually next next one is playing or something I don't know I don't know I it's kind of strange but anyway so I kind of figured this out that every time when I'm going to come and change my settings in here on a timeline I will just save it close the whole project and I'll open again and that was I was working fine but before I get there I actually get a little bit frustrated with it and I contacted um, time pixels and I let them know that there is some problem that my that my DaVinci Resolve don't wanna work with that anymore and if they can help me out with it and I told them as well that every time when I was going to the updates I was getting this kind of um, this kind of error in here and didn't want to go and then I removed the false color 3 uh, 3.8 and then I install it again and it kind of start working uh, 
kind of more smoother. However, next day basically I, I closed the f I closed this all software and everything, and, and next day I start working again on the project. I open it, and then I actually get the message that we've got the upgrade for you. And I was like, hey, 3.9. So obviously, I installed the upgrade. Welcome guys back after upgrade. Now we've got uh, basically only one false color, like previously we had uh, two different one. One was accelerated, one was the kind of non-accelerated one. With this plugin, with this new plugin basically, I can't see any glitches and any kind of issues with it, which basically makes me very happy because I can continuously working without thinking about it if it's something going gonna happen or not. Now I can go simply and just go in here and change to 4K if I want, play this again. And I can delete this in here from a clip and I can go to timeline. I can go obviously to the timeline, new serial node. Oops, new serial node. Come on, new serial node. And I can apply this to it as well. And it's gonna work as well. Where well, actually in the earlier version, um, I kind of was running into the glitches when actually uninstalling and installing again the 3.8 actually helped me out a lot however 3.9 actually is great so if you guys didn't upgrade it click the upgrade and upgrade yourself and just save yourself hassle only i can't understand this kind of thing what it, what it actually do right now is it plugging playing is Whatever is this? Is this how it should supposed to be? Is this some glitch because um, of the of the playing with the timeline again? I think so. Because there's nothing happen if I come back to it. But anyway, actually it does. There you go. There you go. Look at that. I'm not pressing nothing in here. It's just going itself. In a crazy way. No idea what it's about. But anyway, thank you very much for, for watching this video. I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video, give a like. If you didn't like, sorry. Give a dislike, comment below. See you next time.